Welcome back Fallout 76 players, this is Cosmic Scoundrel bringing you another video. Today I will be showcasing the new DLC questline, Lying Low, and providing a quick review. I've attached a link to the patch notes in the description. To begin the quest, you need to interact with the Sheep Squatch Ate My Brother poster in Lewisburg or grab one for free from the Atomic Shop before May 7th. The quest will then take you to Lewisburg. You will enter the Van Lowe Taxidermy Shop, the central location of the questline. The following quests have you travel to different locations, uncovering details around Calvin Van Lowe, his whereabouts, and his dubious intentions. Upon finishing the final quest, a wolf in sheep's clothing, a new miscellaneous event will proc, and you'll be rewarded with an Assaultron recall keycard and the plans to make more. To craft it requires a recall keycard circuit board, which you can buy from vendors like the Responder Bot in the basement bookstore of the White Springs Resort. It also requires rubber, copper, steel, and stable fluorescent flux. The miscellaneous event leads you to the nearby pylon ambush site. Inside the cabin, there is a terminal that uses the Assaultron Recall keycard to initiate a new endgame event called Encrypted. This is a difficult boss fight that requires teamwork and strategy to complete. Players must become the conduit for the three surrounding pylons, causing them to take constant damage until death or leaving the event area. It is possible for one player to become the conduit for all three, but the damage taken is insane. Once each pylon has a conduit, the boss becomes vulnerable to damage. Even with players working together, it's a tough fight. The loot is okay, about the same as the Scorch Beast Queen. You can receive a legendary item, some materials, plans, and rare cosmetic items as well. Additionally, there are four more side quests you can grab from the taxidermy shop on the third floor in the office room with the computer. On the wall are several unsolved mystery notes you can interact with to begin each quest. They are all relatively short, but the stories are fairly engaging and rewards include plans for mounted animal heads and other items. Overall, this is a decent addition that provides interesting quest lines while adding a new high-level event. Finally, there is another endgame boss battle that is unique and challenging in its own great way. This DLC has some interesting twists with extra holotapes and notes to find lying around to expand the lore a little more. Similar to the base game, most of the steps involve finding notes, holotapes, and accessing terminals in different locations that aren't particularly difficult or unique on their own, aside from the secret location. With that said, I really liked the stories for each quest and didn't think any of them dragged on for too long. This has been the most substantial DLC so far, and I've definitely enjoyed it more than the others. The next DLC, The Burrows, will release Tuesday the 16th, and is set to expand the endgame even further with an underground location and new challenges to overcome. As always, thanks for watching. Cosmic Scoundrel signing off.